Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 8A notes on product and expansions. Okay. At the end of this, you should be able to say that I can find the product of algebraic terms and also I can find the product of two binomials. All right. So, um, some examples to try. Example one from page 236 simplify the following products. So, we have negative 3 times 4x. Okay. When you do this, you just want to multiply the numbers together and then the x's together if there are and there isn't an x over here so there's nothing to multiply by but negative 3 times 4 gives us negative 12 and then there's no x to multiply by so you just the x comes along for the ride and we get negative 12x okay this one here we have 2x times negative x squared now I think of this as negative 1x squared so I go 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and then x times x squared is x cubed alright so that's all there is for those there. Next set of examples from page 237 is expand and simplify. So basically what this is asking us to do is distribute this through to both of these terms in here and then simplify. So 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 3 times 5 is 15. And then 3 times negative x is negative 3x. Collecting like terms, we get 6x and negative 3x gives us 3x, and then negative 2 plus 15 gives us 13. So we get 3x plus 13. All right. On this one, distribute the x through to both of these terms, and on this one, distribute the negative 2x to both of these terms here. So x times 2x is 2x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x negative 2x times 5 is negative 10x negative 2x times negative x negative times a negative is a positive 2 times 1 is 2 x times x is x squared alright so we take 2x squared and 2x squared gives us 4x squared negative x and negative 10x is negative 11x alright alright one last uh, page of examples here is um, this one here. Alright, so let's expand and simplify. So really we're just going to, um, again we can foil this or stack it. Okay, so let's try foil first. 2x times 3x is 6x squared that's the firsts. O for outside, 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. I for inside, 1 times 3x is 3x. And then L for last, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. All right, so usually the outside and inside terms will combine together. And in this case, they do to get negative 1x or just negative x. So we end up getting 6x squared minus x minus 2. Alright, so um, there's also another way to do this and that is to um, stack one on top of the other. So um, we do this, take either one of them, put one on top and one on the bottom. 2x plus 1 I'll put on the top and then 3x minus 2 I put on the bottom and it doesn't matter which one goes where. And then we just multiply it like a two digit by two digit multiplication problem. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. 0 to hold the place. 3x times 1 is 3x. And then 3x times 2x is 6x squared. Add the like terms, so that's 6x squared. Negative 4x and 3x gives us negative 1x. And then negative 2 and 0 gives us negative 2. So we get the same thing here as here. All right. And then last one, example 7 from page 239, we get 2x minus 3 the quantity squared so do not do this this does not equal um, 2x times you don't square the 2x and square the 3 so you don't do 2x times 2x to get 4x squared and then square the 3 to get 9 that is not it at all that is a serious math faux pas do not do that all right, you got to make sure you actually foil it out or stack it so that you can get the correct answer. All right, so um, again, I like to stack them, so I'm just going to stack one on top of the other. So I've got 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. So 
Negative three times negative three is nine. Negative three times two x is negative six x. Zero to hold the place. Two x times negative three is negative six x. Two x times two x is four x squared. All right, and that ends up getting us four x squared minus twelve x plus nine. All right, that's all there is for this. If you have any questions, please ask. Thanks.